Hello, Derice here. Today I want to share with you my quadrifold book page tag. This is the mini challenge in the challenge number one for September here on YouTube at Dear Julie Julie Junk Journal Every Day. For this challenge, we had to include two book pages that were connected together, make two tucks, include one writing space, and one pocket. But first, let me give you a basic idea of how this is laid out. So here's another example of book pages from my book. And as you can see here, they're connected together. So all you do is fold in each side like this. Fold over like this. And what you end up with are eight sides that you can write on and embellish all that you want. So see, you open this up like this, fold it out, comes together, and here's the back. So just to give you an example, now let's look at my finished one. So for my double page, I used a 1951 McCall's dressmaking book. Uh, the paper collection I used is called Modern Millinery by Colorbach. And I've used flat back pearls, rhinestones, and paper punches that were all from Stampin' Up. And all the trims that you see, except for one, are vintage trims that I just had in my stash. So let's take a look here. And also on this one, I have included a paper clip, which you didn't have to do, but I decided to make one. And I found this idea. Um, I just searched free purse printables on Pinterest. And that's where I found this really cute idea. And you can see here I've embellished with a little rhinestone and some vintage trim. And there's the clip on the back. And I will try to put a link below as to where exactly I found that on Pinterest. And then for my cover page here, just used a few vintage trims. And also any of the Words or quotes that you see are also from the same paper collection. A butterfly punch here with some rhinestones. You flip to this side. Here I use uh, flat back pearls in a couple spots. Another one of the word tags. I had a lot of fun making this. Little different than me doing the regular junk journal, but definitely equally as fun. Then on the inside, here I have more of the wording from the paper pad, vintage trim. Here is the pocket that we had to do. And I added some rhinestones and put in a tag. I just used some vintage fabric and covered it over a file folder I had and then added a vintage trim here at the top. Okay, then over here towards the middle, this ribbon here is actual uh, from a physical mini kit from Dear Julie Julie on Etsy, and it was called Sassy Simplicity. And here's my writing space. And a little tuck spot I've included. This is from part of an alterations tag, the bottom I just cut off and they added a little piece of an actual measuring tape and then a few punch outs here and some trim. This here is cut apart from the paper collection. Again, backed with the file folder and stitched around. And this here is just some wording to describe the um, picture on the very front of this booklet. Here's another tuck spot that I've made. Vintage trim. Tag made from the paper collection. I stitched around, backed on that same file folder I had. Let me flip in this side. Another image from my book here. And down here, I did go ahead and make another little pocket. This one was, I just had some cardstock and I covered it with some vintage fabric. Another punch out here with some of the flat back pearls. Couple little 
cut aparts from the paper collection. And then on the back side, I've clipped on a little piece explaining the dress here. And this was the only image that I actually fussy cut and it came from the same book. I just uh, wanted to cover up some of the writing. So I just added my scrapbook paper and then added her on here. And I've clipped in a few little journal cards. Again, this is from the paper pad. Both of them I've stitched around and added some graph paper. This graph paper I actually picked up at a garage sale where a lady um, had been quilting. This is some paper that she had been using, or no longer was using. And so that's my quadrifold book page tag. Also with this, you can also cut it at the corners to make it look like a tag if you want. I just chose not to. And I will make sure and list the links below this video with more information on the things I mentioned earlier. And thank you so much for watching. This was a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the challenge share and that you will join me when I post more videos of my Remade Memories journey. Thank you. Have a good day.